Luffy, oh, Luffy, oro. Luffy, 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 Luffy profile, the fifth point. In each point, we describe an, an aspect, a feature, um, an important feature of his character, his personality, his powers, his appearance. And there is everything you must know about Luffy in my, my full profile of Luffy. Number five. There is a certain growth and maturity of his character. Oh, across the story, of course. A long, long story, long journey. One Piece manga, even if only for the key concept of the unknown and unreachable treasure called One Piece, it, uh, listen to me, it will never be considered a shonen like Dragon Ball or Naruto. There is a big difference between uh, these three opera these three manga shonen, okay? For what concerns us here, Oda carefully distributes ages and features of each character, so you can expect that his protagonist, Luffy, despite the young target audience and classical shonen elements, elements, sorry, which opt usually for childish hotheads who do silly things like Luffy and win over smart and an evil character, only thanks to magical plot armors, mm, see Super Saiyan, and friend sacrifice, mm, see Naruto, Wolf, uh, Pain, Power, blah blah blah, well, could, could not, and here uh, it is remarkable, One Piece could not remain, uh, and Luffy could not remain a complete pinhead all along, as much as his bro big brother Goku was in Dragon Ball series, okay? Luffy had to learn by time, and is still learning, to be more responsible for straight choices, as well as how to hold and carry on abiding memories and critical life events. There is no dragon that revive brings to life again dead characters, okay? <laughs> Let's debrief some of these important cases and moments. Number one. When an Usopp, when Usopp in denial, when an Usopp in denial goes against the captain order and threatens Luffy to leave the crew so that the captain in person is due to face him and his regrettable choice while the crew is in a state of shock. We are talking about chapter 332, 33, 333, <laughs> special number. The, in this chapter, uh, actually, Usopp faces Luffy, they fight for uh, the Mary's sake, huh? who is going to own the Mary. And Luffy, of course, will win. These are unforgettable chapters to me. The, the, the whole crew is in shock, Sanji reaction to kick Luffy down, Zoro to uh, remind Luffy about his role as captain. These chapters, go to read them, they are in Water 7, at the beginning of Water 7. There are so much, it's so much a plot twist in that time, for that time, and uh, it was completely unexpected. Mm? And the protagonist of this uh, part is Usopp, okay? <laughs> number two and number three of these cases go strictly together, as we are talking about two events interconnected, strictly interconnected, and I repeat strictly, they happen one after another, right after another. But let's start talking about number two. When in Sabaudi, amid the ever caused by the over number of enemies, in a matter of seconds, Luffy realized how unskilled and small he really was, and dramatically pondered his sheer incapacity to protect Every, each, every and each of his friends in chapter 513, okay? This is a crucial chapter in Sabaudi, eh? when uh, first uh, Kizaru and then uh, uh, also Bartholomew sends them away from the, from the, from the scene and looks like each of them did disappear like the bubbles of Sabaudi. Let's move to number three. Soon after that, when he witnesses the most painful moment of all, his beloved brother's execution, and it happened in chapter 575, 
and these events completely shut down his persona and knock these beliefs out. Because after having lost his friends due to his weaknesses, his uh, clear weaknesses, his lack of strength, he had to lose unexpectedly what he entrusted the most, his ambition and self-confidence. In Marine Ford, Luffy has been challenged and he lost his ambition and self-confidence. That kind of belief that whatever would happen to him, he could always overcome it in some somehow the problem and is this and, and the single enemy with his determination and will. Oh, if that were not enough, in the worst scenario, someone else would magically do so for him. His brother Ace, ah, Ace always comes to save him. All hmm? oh, the people who loved and would help him to succeed, win and win. Anyhow, these kind of beliefs and this kind of mm, trust were completely shattered in uh, between Sabahodi and Marineford. In the very following moments, when he wakes up on um, Amazon Lily, Amazon Lily, sorry, in chapter 582 devastated by these multiple dazzling illusions as well as the fresh burning memories of ace mm. he can't stop but self-arming and going insane our luffy goes insane in amazon lily i was going to stop him jinbei don't forget jinbei huh? jinbei he is one of the best characters in uh, the second part of the manga first he punches everything in front of him luffy trees and rocks then his anger turns in screams and unthinkable sorrow for what happened in the last chapter of his life. As if those Kodak films were crying out loudly in his face, how pretentious and childish was his boastful, One day I will be Kaizukunu, uh, I will be the pirate's king. What childish and boastful, and how foolish had been his latest action which had put in serious dangers friend's life and his own life. They would be that, definitely. He, Luffy, the one who wanted to be the captain, the captain of the best crew in the history of manga, would be dead. He's certainly thinking in this moment in Sabo, in uh, Amazon Lily. If someone powerful like Jinbei had not interfered or unexpectedly uh, unexpected allies like Lo prevented others from doing so. Mm. If one's not for Jinbei and uh, Lo in uh, in Marineford, he would be dead, guys. Therefore, it's only thanks to the very savior of his life, Jinbei, a brand new friend, that this mental breakdown could at last be beneficial to his growth to Luffy's growth. When he reminds him, in these cases, he asks, what do you have? What do you still have, Luffy? What do you still have? My nakama! My friend! He shouts in cry. Furthermore, it is not a coincidence that we can see how the second part of One Piece, the, the, the so-called New World, hmm, mind it, in the New World, is shaping his character as never before. The determination showed in Fishman Island and so in Dress Rosa changed highly our perception of his words, making him definitely closer to the pirate king Goldie Roger. Uh, see, for example, chapter 647, uh, see chapter 790, mm, where you see how the action Luffy words are completely different. Mm, this the, is growing, is growing. This is the second part of the manga. In fact, not only Luffy and Sanji and Zoro, who seem to, who seem, who seems to have lost an eye, Zoro, yes, I wrote this in 2019, mm, grew older or bigger, particularly Robbie and Nami. Mm, you can see how Nami and Robbie were squared, shaped, and now rectangular, polygonal, and now they are more rounded, rounded, post time skip. Nami and uh, Nico Robin, our archaeologist, um, and uh, grew older and bigger. Now the famous after skip the train and, and had the famous time skip the train and change, but so did the creator Ichiro Oda. He has changed it, so he did. Today, in 2020, when I wrote this, uh, when I finished to write, actually, I started in uh, 2018. I finished in 2020. Uh, just a brief note about my writing. 
he can't be Oda, Eiichiro Oda can't be the same actor who told One Piece would last just few volumes in 1970 and 1980. He could not, willing or not, remain the same guy who let Shanks lose an arm to a random sea monster. Hey, Kai, try to remember, try to understand this this thing. In this protagonist, Luffy. Sail on a dinghy and Zoro getting humiliated by a hand knife. Okay, that story was made to be short. Come on, in the first volume of the story, uh, that Zoro, uh, everybody mocking, but what that fight is ridiculous. No, guys, that was for a shorter moon for another story. It can't be the same light hatted of two decades ago. It was much younger, it was much younger, older, a completely different person. Okay. His art style, his ambitions, Oda's ambition, his perspective has inevitably changed. And his Pinocchio, we all know as Luffy, had somehow to change as well. And will keep changing and changing, even if only for aspect or technical features, until Oda will write the last page of his journey, the Straw Hat journey. Or maybe no. And all I have just said will be completely wiped out by some ultimate trolling moves of his own. And we will see perhaps Luffy losing a leg against the random giants in Elbuff. It's possible. Who knows? <laughs> we can only find it out in the end of this fantastic journey called One Piece Manga. <laughs> I think it's a nice idea and everything is growing and changing. To remind you that uh, all the content I'm making here on YouTube is just uh, partially, is just a part, uh, is a partial content of what I've wrote already, I've written long, much, much time ago, and it's called, you can find it on um, Amazon.com, hmm? the, Be Be uh, the Jeff Bezos creation. And I self-publish it, so I need support, I don't have any, I have like two, three readers. <laughs> Who wrote this? Uh, okay, who, who have read it? So we have one piece there. Uh, it's a serious book. So if you arrive to this point, you go to take a look. This is the cover I made. You can see how you know, beautiful it is. It's called One Piece: The Book of D. If you write type on Amazon or on Google, One Piece: The Book of D, and you write by Joe, and uh, the author, the author is me, is Joe. You will find the first serious book. I had problem to publish um, for the cover book, the Amazon software. I had problem to publish the rest because um, they are like six, five, six chapters, uh, and each chapter is a uh, is a, as big as a whole essay book. So it's like 150 pages each. And the second uh, the story, uh, when I talk about this, I don't, I didn't have time to, um, I, I could not upload the other ones, okay? So there is an Asop mem Usopp Memories. I call Asop from the anime because I, when I, when I started One Piece, in the meantime, at the first time, I was watching the anime and they called him Asop. So uh, child memory remembers that pronunciation, you know? And uh, so Dive with Me into One Piece. The, the, the series also you can find on Amazon is called Dive into One Piece. I wrote also a theory books, uh, a sum up of all sagas. They are contained in this series. They are part of this series. Okay. Hope to publish all of them or uh, also here on uh, YouTube so you can enjoy just listening. Bye bye. It was a, a long, long, long ad.